China's J-20 stealth fighter a blatant ripoff? There may be more unknown details of relevance to the Chinese J-20 fifth generation stealth fighter than there are known specifics, yet the People's Liberation Army has been writing about its J-20 in several respects for many years now. So there are a handful of key pertinent observations to be made regarding the extent of the threat it may pose. Upon initial glance, the stealthy-looking airframe has been widely seen by U.S. congressional reports and Pentagon essays as what could be called a transparent ripoff of U.S. fifth-generation stealth technology. This possibility and the visible similarities in stealth configuration between the J-20 and the F-35 and F-22 have been cited in several Pentagon reports, all as part of a long-standing and publicly documented concern about Chinese theft of U.S. military technology. But the J-20 does look stealthy, as it has the standard blended wing-body stealth shape, rounded fuselage, few if any protruding structures likely to generate a return radar signature, and what appears to be an internal weapons bay devoid of external pylons. While many have drawn comparisons between the J-20 and F-35, the J-20's apparent dual-engine configuration looks a bit F-22-like. Also, the J-20's dual-wing configuration looks a bit different than existing F-22 or F-35 designs, as its fuselage is more elongated and larger than U.S. 5th-gen aircraft. While available specs published by AeroCorner do say the J-20 is nearly 5 meters longer than the F-22, the largest differences appear to be maximum takeoff payload and fuel capacity. AeroCorner lists the length of the J-20 at 23 meters, compared to just under 19 meters for the F-22. Range is also dramatically different as well, as additional size and fuel carrying capacity results in a massive range disparity. AeroCorner reports that the J-20 flies with a 4,166-gallon fuel tank, compared with 2,400 for the F-22. This disparity results in a massive range difference, as the J-20 is listed as having a range of nearly 3,000 kilometers farther than the F-22. The spec sheet says the J-20 can travel to ranges of 5,926 kilometers, a range which puts Taiwan well within the reach of mainland China, whereas the F-22 is slated as having a range of 2,963 kilometers. However, with two non-stealthy external fuel tanks, an F-22 can travel more than 1,864 miles. Yet, a plane with this configuration will compromise dogfighting ability and speed. As a longer, dual-wing stealth fighter, the J-20 is likely much less maneuverable than the F-22, and therefore less likely to challenge the Raptor for air superiority in air-to-air -air combat. However, once over a target area, the J-20 appears to have a massively larger payload capacity to deliver ordnance, one reason why the J-20 is much slower than the high-speed F-22. The specs list the speeds at 1,963 knots for the F-22 and only 1,333 knots for the J-20. Payload capacity is also quite different, as the J-20 can reportedly take off with nearly 28,000 pounds of internal and external weaponry, whereas the F-22 can take off with a fraction of that at 3,915 pounds. But this would suggest that a lighter, faster, air-to-air -air combat aircraft such as the F-22 would be well positioned to destroy a J-20 in the air with relative speed and efficiency, depending upon the range and fidelity of weapon sensors, precision guidance, and targeting technology. Even the F-35, a multi-role fighter with more payload than an F-22, is reported to operate with a takeoff payload at 18,000 pounds of internal and external weapons. This means a J-20 can operate with longer dwell time above target areas, drop a much higher percentage of bombs in any one given mission, and certainly reach thousands of kilometers farther in terms of range, unless an F-22 flies with non-stealthy external fuel tanks. Propulsion comparisons also appear to heavily favor the F-22. However, Chinese-backed newspapers report that the J-20 is now built with a first-of-its-kind WS-15 domestically produced engine. It may not be clear how much this impacts performance, yet it seems unlikely a J-20 could rival an F-22 in the air. It may not be well suited to challenge an F-35 either, although a true F-35 and F-22 comparison with the J-20 may depend upon lesser known variables, such as the range and accuracy of its sensing, targeting, and weapons envelope. For instance, the F-35 is known to fly with sensors, enabling it to see and destroy enemy fighter aircraft at unprecedented standoff distances. Therefore, should the J-20 be unable to match this, 
then it would be quite vulnerable to an F-35 or F-22, regardless of its maneuverability and weaponry. Should a J-20 be seen before it can detect an F-22 or F-35, other variables will certainly matter less. Secondly, the precision guidance seeking or course-correcting accuracy of air-to-air weapons would likely be a deciding factor as well. Finally, all of this likely relies upon the aircraft's ability to network with other nodes across multiple domains and operate with high-speed, potentially AI-enabled computing and mission systems. The answer regarding which aircraft would ultimately be superior may reside in answers to these lesser-known variables. The bottom line? What this might suggest is that the U.S. Air Force and Navy would be well-served to find and destroy J-20s in the air before they are over target areas where they might be able to use a large bomb-dropping payload capacity to inflict damage or overwhelm air defenses with numerous attacks per single aircraft.